is this training camp for you from maybe the last couple of years? Um, you know what? It's uh, it, it's kind of too early to tell so far. You know, we just just kind of got in, had meetings, and have a little walkthrough so far. But um, it's different, different people. Uh, you know, it's always that way a little bit. Um, turnover, new guys, and guys leave. So um, really, it's kind of to be determined yet because I'm kind of excited to get on the field and, and do real football with these guys. You've had such a you know a good thing going with Antonio mm-hmm. through the years. Is that going to be uh, uh, a, a real transition for you in this camp? Well, it'll be different. I mean, uh, I think the things that uh, we did together was uh, some things that you know no one's really ever done. I mean, you know, Peyton and Marvin maybe. I mean, just in the last few years that we did, it was pretty special. So it's going to be hard to make up for that. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to do my best to, to still bring my A game, and I know we've got other guys on this team that are ready to step up and, um, you know, bring everything they can to the table. Ben, did you see enough of uh, Deontay Johnson in the spring to uh, have uh, any type of expectations for him? This year? Yeah, there's some excitement there for sure. Um, you know, I think, you know, any, any young guy that comes in needs to always work conditioning. There, no rookie ever comes in and is in great condition. Um, and... I saw him run his conditioning test yesterday, and I don't even think he op- like he was barely breathing. So you can tell that he, and I heard that he was here a lot in the offseason working. So you can tell that he really took that to heart, that he needed to get in shape, and, and, I've, and I've seen that so far, even though it's early. The next thing I want to see is how, how he plays and reacts with pads on um, because a lot of us look good with you know shorts and T-shirts, but once the pads come on and you have the, the – capability of getting hit and stuff. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm excited for it. Have you seen any difference in Juju? Um, just, that, you know, now that he's the number one guy, maybe in weight towards himself or anything like that? Um, I think Juju's he's still he's himself, and that's what makes him special. Um, you know, he's still fun and, 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 and fun-loving and, and silly at times. But but I have seen him, you know, because this is his third year, you see some growth and maturity, and you see um, him – um, kind of accepting that that leadership role, especially in that room. Ben, how can this year's offense be better than last year's? What can fans look forward to? Well, I think um, you know it, it, I have to play better. You know, I need to be. You know, I always start with myself, and, and and it starts with me because I have the ball in my hands. I need to to make sure that I distribute the ball to guys and, and make sure that I don't turn the ball over. And um, I know the rest of the guys are excited about what they bring to the table. I'm excited for guys from from tight ends to running backs to receivers. Um, obviously, the line is is who they are, pretty special. So. Um, you know, it's kind of to be determined. Yeah, I think that's the fun part. There's still a little mystery out there. What do you want to see from those receivers that are vying for the, the targets that are now available? For you to go to? Um, I just, to me, I, I know what they can do. I know that they can catch. I know they can play. I want to see um, who makes the least amount of mistakes, who, who can um, get a subtle hand signal, um, who can, um, you know, interpret even, um, you know, visual signals, you know, just, just kind of looks and things like that. So that's the fun part. That, that's the part that I enjoy and that, that they've enjoyed so far too, I think, and just seeing how we can mesh together. So yeah, it may not be the, the things obvious to fans. but just Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Um, and some of it might be. I mean, if you come out here and you see some some big plays by guys, I think that'll be that'll be pretty neat. But there's the things that I'm excited for are the, the, the little subtle nuances, for sure. Ben, a lot of your teammates talked about just kind of a focus on football. We didn't see you know, flashy entrances, helicopters, things like that. Do you like that approach, just kind of that no-nonsense, kind of your focus on football and, and that sort of thing? Well, I think that's what we, we, we have to do, you know. We, um, we missed the playoffs last year, so we need to get back there, and we need, so we need to be better, and uh, it starts with playing football. Ben, would you like to or have any plan to throw it less this year? Um, I'll do whatever it takes to win. I spoke to the, to the offense last night about that. I don't care. I, I'm the type of guy, and you, you guys that have been around me and the guys on this field that have been around me know that I'd rather throw for five yards and win than 500 and lose. I'll just take a win. So whatever we need to do to win football games, make the playoffs and try and win a Super Bowl, that's, that's what I'm up for. Ben, do you still feel the same jolt and excitement coming here to, to get yeah, started? Yeah, probably again? more so. Uh, I was talking to um, uh, my wife last night and, and then talking to a couple of the coaches um, before I came, just kind of getting ready for it. And I, they just they just – I'm excited for this year. Um, I'm not really sure why yet, other than um, I'm just excited to be around the guys. Are you going to follow the same regimen you've done the last few years, full day, half day? Yes, as far as as far as I've been told so far. <laughs> how, diff- you, how different of a quarterback are you now? Skill set, everything else. From, let's say ten years ago. Um, I'm not quite as fast. Not that I was ever really a blazer, but uh, you know, I, I'd like to think that my arm is just as strong. Um, I really spent a lot of time with my trainer working on on my shoulders and back and things for throwing. So I don't. I'd like to think that my arm hasn't dropped off. Um, 
and, and, and really as you get older you have to work on mobility and things like that so a lot of stuff we've been working on is kind of short area in the pocket type movement so um, truthfully physically I feel as good as I have um, obviously the knees and things wear down a little bit as you get older but um, I still feel sharp mentally too so that's important what do you notice about the defense um, well, from OTAs, yeah, from the spring, I was excited. They were flying around. Um, I know we've, we've said things like that in the past, but just um, to see how fast guys are moving, um, covering from, from secondary guys, the linebackers, D-line, it just it felt like, you know, even on a simple run play where, you know, the, the way we play in, in our coach is to let the runners run, right, so you can get some pursuit. It felt like all 11 guys on defense were, you know, getting to the runner, getting to a receiver and just – it just feels like there's there's more energy over there, and I'm excited to see. And I know they're waiting to get pads on because that that kind of is the exclamation point to a defense. So um, we'll see how it get when we get out here and do some of these things. But I'm excited for them because I think they they seem to be a really fast defense. And what you do you talk need to, to see from your uh, Dobbs to Rudolph to be comfortable with the number two? Um, well, that's that's a coach's decision on who's the number two guy. Um, I'll just continue to have good relationships with those guys and help them however they they ask. And when you talk to the offense, what do you tell them about getting off to a good start? Like, what, is, what are some of your words in that regard? Um, you know, it's it's we've you know in the past we, we've kind of had in past seasons we've either started slow or started fast, and I think when you when you come out of the gate fast, and and that even comes to here like being early to to, to walkthroughs and early to meetings and just showing a love and a dedication to be out here and to, to really start fast with meetings too. So. Um, I'm excited to get out here to, to see how guys react to those to those comments and things that we've all uh, mentioned to each other, and um, I think that can help transition into starting fast during the season in terms of games. Ben, what was the reaction ben, to Mike Tomlin's extension? Happy for him. Um, you know, anytime that you can lock up your boss and, and stay here for another year, it, it brings stability to to a team. And Ryan Switzer yesterday talked about how there's 170 targets available for your receivers. Would you would you <laughs> rather? spread those around or would you like to see one guy come up and, and be the focal point uh, kind of off of the juju? Oh, we'll just let Ryan get all 170 since he brought it up. <laughs> um, no, I think I think that's what, you know, my game has kind of always been that way anyway, spread the ball around, um, get it to guys that are, I try and get the guys that are open, the best matchups, things like that. So, um, you know, I, I think I think it'll be a combination of a lot of guys, I really do, from, from tight ends to running backs to receivers. I, you know, Moncrief being a new guy here, we expect him to do a lot of things. So, uh, I'm really excited about all the guys. I think they all can get a big chunk of that. Do you get the sense or do you share the belief that this team is perhaps being overlooked, that you're not being talked about as a contender as you perhaps were in the past? Well, we didn't make the playoffs, so it's probably deservedly so. Um, you know, we need to come out and prove that we can be, uh, you know, a, a force to be reckoned with, but that, that's only going to happen on the field. <laughs> Sorry, I got Pepsi got a nice little ad going back there, though. <laughs> just some of the criticism you took from ex-players, do you use any of that as motivation? You know what, I'm only focused on guys that are here. That's all that really matters to me is the guys that are here that are in this locker room, that are on this team, um, and that's all I should focus on. What's the How much do you your radio show? <laughs> um, I haven't made a final decision yet, and luckily I have a few weeks to decide. Ben, when it comes to motivation, how much does the Super Bowl, winning another Super Bowl, fuel you? That's much more motivation for me than you know what people say. Um, I, I told the guys last night, I'll, I'll be selfish when it comes to that. I want to win Super Bowls. And um, so that, truthfully, that should be all our motivation. Um, and so that, that's what's driving me right now. Some people don't think this team can win one. That's fine. Um, it's really early. No one's won a game or lost a game yet. Ben, yesterday Switz talked about the importance of being here for the entire training camp, mm -hmm. which he didn't get in last year. How big is that from your perspective to get to work with him? Well, I, yeah, it'll be huge um, because I, I liked what he did last year. Um, and he did some really good things for even being here a short period of time. Um, you saw it with Vance. Uh, Vance came in at the end of two years ago, and, and you saw his improvement last year. So um, I think we're all really excited about what he could bring to the table. So you're going to play through your contract, being healthy, everything else being the same? Am I going to play my th into the final year? I plan, I plan on playing my, my contract out. I've, I've honored all my contracts to date, so um, that's my goal. Could you play beyond? Uh, I'm going to play th to my end of my contract and then I'll decide anything after that.